Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. If you're ever working with crossfades inside Pro Tools 8, you might find that you have the option to choose equal power or equal gain. And in this tutorial, I'll show you when you might want to use one or the other. And don't forget, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, you can leave one right below this video or get in contact with me personally, justin at wingsound.com. So when you work with crossfades, you have an option to choose equal power or equal gain. Now you might want to use equal power when you're crossfading two audio sources of different material to help them seamlessly flow into each other. Now this is great when you work with loops and to have them go into one another to make it very smooth. You want to use the equal power crossfade. Or if you do some like post-production stuff and you have bed music and you know you change up that music at a certain part in the movie commercial show whatever you're working on you want to use the equal power crossfade so this way the transition between the different material is very smooth so i'll play these two loops that i have here without the crossfade Okay, it's already pretty smooth because they're loops and you know they're made to interact with each other but i'm going to show you this equal power crossfade to just really clean it up all right so i'm going to highlight the beginning of the second loop and the end of the first and then i'm going to hit command f to get the fades window and i'm going to go over to where it says link and i'm going to choose equal power and then hit ok and sometimes you get this warning here that the fades that you're trying to do is invalid the bounds aren't sufficient enough so you can choose to skip that and make your adjustments to make it work or you can have pro tools do it for you by choosing adjust the bounds okay so i did that and i'll show you the little fade that it drew in okay so now i'll play these two loops and just listen you know how smooth it sounds All right, you get the idea with that one. Okay, so now on to equal gain. So you might want to use equal gain when you're crossfading two audio sources of the same source type. For instance, if you're editing up some drums or if you're editing up vocals, this works really well because you use equal gain, which means when you have the crossfading between the different audio regions, you won't have a drop in level. So it'll sound very natural and, you know, you can do you know regular fades but again you're gonna have that drop in level and you don't want that because it's not gonna sound good it's not gonna sound natural so I'll play this little bass loop that I have here that I just copied over you know I have two of them and listen there's a little click in there when they go from one to the next it's hard to pick out you know cuz it's really quick but you don't want any clicks in your audio at all so you know utilize this all right so again i'm going to do the same highlighting the beginning of the second region and the end of the first and then i'm going to hit command f go over to link and choose equal gain and hit ok and again i got this uh you know this little warning here but i'm just gonna have pro tools adjust the bounds for me and i'm gonna zoom in so you can see the fade the cross fade there and now I'll play it and listen real closely. You can't hear any click anymore. And there's no drop in audio. Perfect. Make sure you follow Wingsound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wingsound or search for Wingsound on Facebook.